what's up with it. So last video we got familiar with the frames of reference that we can use to command our drone in. In this video we're going to actually make the functions to command our drone with velocities. And the main thing to note is in order to maintain a steady state velocity for your drone, you're going to have to send that velocity vector every one second. So the drone will only act on an incoming velocity command for one second. So let's get into it. Let's go to course root and then drone kit. And let's copy basic template and we'll make a new file called velocity underscore based underscore movement. And then we'll g edit into that. All right, so here we are. And since we have two different frames of reference, we're going to make two different functions to command our drone with velocities in two different frames. Okay, so here's our local velocity function. We're calling it send local NED velocity. And we input velocities in the X, Y, and Z components. So here we're actually making a manual Mavlink message with the vehicle.message factory command. And we get to populate all the different fields to get the unique behavior that we are requesting. So here we're specifying the frame of reference to use. And this will get us in the local frame of reference. And this is where our velocities go. So we pass in velocities at the call of the function, and those get mapped to these fields in the message for Mavlink that we're making. And then that'll create, the message factory will create a new message that we're saving here to this message object. And then we can actually send the vehicle that we're connected to Mavlink messages through the vehicle.sendMavlink function. So we'll send this message that we just created and this will be a velocity command that the drone will act on for one second. And then we can say vehicle.flush just to make sure that we flush out any messages that might be in our cache. And the global velocity command is going to be very similar. As you can see, it's almost identical. We have send global net velocity and said local net velocity, but they all do the same thing. The only thing we changed was the frame of reference. I know it's a little confusing that it's local NED that we're using for a global velocity, but it's local to the Earth. All right, so let's put these functions to the test. So right now we have our vehicle connection and we're up in the air. So now let's start using these commands. Okay, so first let's use our local NED velocity command. And remember, the first component is X, then Y, then Z. So here we're telling the drone to move forward relative to the front of the drone at 5 meters per second. So this won't be true north, it'll be relative to the drone's front. And then also remember that the drone will only act on our velocity command for one second. So we're making a counter equal to zero, and we're iterating the counter by one every while loop iteration, and we're sleeping for one second every iteration. So once counter is not less than five, this while loop will break out. So this will let us fly in this direction for five seconds. And then we'll sleep a little bit, we'll sleep for two seconds, and then we'll do the same thing and just change the components a little bit to give you an idea of what's going on. We'll switch to minus five. So this will fly in the west direction relative to the drone's front. Now let's do the same thing, but use the global net velocity. So we just copy pasted what we had above, and we changed the send local net velocity to send global net velocity. And we changed our print message out from moving north to moving true north and moving true west. And then at the end, let's just say while true, do nothing so that we can keep Q ground control up and running. Then let's do one more while block to show you the Z component. So since we're only moving up and down, I'm going to show you that the Z axis is the same for both global and local frames. So if we're sending a minus five in here, we're going to actually be moving up since it's positive down. And this can be a little counterintuitive, so I'm just going to throw this in here to kind of drive the point home. If you want the drone to move up into the air, you have to pass in a minus number. And we'll do that with the local velocity command. And then we'll move down by passing in a positive number for the Z component. And we'll use the global net velocity to show you that they both use the same sign convention on the up and down axis. Okay, so let's save this and see what the heck happens. And then before we launch the script, let's make sure that we have imported the mavutil function from pymavlink. Now we should be good to go. Let's pull up a terminal and launch the script. 
All right, so here is our drone. It is pointing true south, which means the front of the drone is pointing true south. And since our first command tells the drone to move north relative to where it's pointing, then it should start to move in the south direction. Which, all right, so we're at our target altitude, and there it goes, moving north relative to front of drone. It's moving true south, but north relative to the front. Now we're moving true west, so even though this is east, we're moving west, because that is what the drone's relative frame is. Now we're moving true north relative to the earth. And now we're moving back true west. And then the last will be we move up in altitude, even though we passed in a minus number. Moved up, and now we're going to be moving down, that we passed in a positive number into the velocity component for the z. And there you have it.